Okay, so today we are fishing on a London canal and we're targeting perch and small jack pike. We've chosen this section of the canal because it's nice and light and also we've been very successful here before. So we're gonna have a couple more casts and hopefully we'll get a decent perch to show you. Okay, so this is the, um, the first person that purchased the session. We've, we've been here for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour, and um, it's, been, it's been a bit slow, but we just kept walking up and down, and we've found a little spot where we've had a few, a few little nips, and then this was the, the first fish of the session, so that's, uh, that's a good start. Okay, so we've moved spot and we've come down to the bridge and they, they always seem to be a good spot. I don't know if it's a little bit of cover, a little bit more shallow on the water or something like that. But yeah, we're going we're gonna to have a few casts and see what happens. We've had a few little nips already. This is also the spot where I had um, a slightly bigger perch, maybe just over a pound a couple of days ago. So hopefully we'll still be down there. Have a few casts and we'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, so we've uh, just had a move, and um, the area we're fishing at the moment is is actually quite weedy. So we're just trying to work out the right retrieve speed for the lure. So this water is probably about maybe four or five foot deep, may maybe six foot in the slightly deeper parts. So the weed is very patchy. So you have some areas with no weed, some areas with quite a lot of weed. So in this stretch, what we're trying to do at the moment is work out the right speed for the lure. So it sinks down, but not too slow where it goes into the weeds. So it's just fluttering above the weed. And yeah, I think we've, we've got that worked out. What we're using at the moment is um, this little size two MEPS, um, which is pretty good for kind of top water. If it's really clear, you can let it drop down a little bit. But that's, that's one of the laws we're using today. Also, I have a small box in my pocket, just like that, and that basically contains everything you need. So in here we have some some jellies we have some more some more spinners quite small ones because we're fishing for perch it's like size ones and twos um, different colors black and gold and also we have some slightly bigger jellies if you want to go a little bit deeper maybe some some jig heads also a few little baby cranks they can be quite good. It does pay to have a selection of lures because you don't know what the fish are going to be feeding on on the day. One day could be jellies, they could be low, tight to the bottom. Another day they could be feeding really aggressively and they're going to be up in the water and basically taking anything you throw. The best thing to do in that situation is spinners and maybe floating crankbaits or something like that. There we go, so a change of law and a change of luck. Not a massive one, but that is a lovely little perch on the spinner. So I've, I've been here for about five to 10 minutes in this spot, had loads of casts on the, um, on the jig and absolutely nothing, had a few rattles and changed over to this little um, 
the MEPS, the silver MEPS, size two, and we've got a fish straight away. So it's definitely worth bringing a selection of laws so you can work out what they're gonna take on the day. One day it could be jellies, one day it could be spinners, but you never know. So just bring a small selection. Let's get it back. Nobody's allowed to. Oh, uh, you're not allowed to fish here? No, 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 no. Now, no. you are not allowed to fish here, please. Oh, no. No. We got. This is private uh, water. A uh, little perch. Oh, it's private, is it? Yeah, it's private. Cool. Hello. Busted, Danny. Yeah, busted, man. Just as we were getting into a shoulder fish as well. So we're two from the same spot. Um, they're normally under the jetty because obviously that's that's cut under, so it's a good good shelter, good place for them to hide. And just cast it straight down, slowly bounce it back. And there's always there's always fish down there. You're you're almost guaranteed to catch one, but obviously that part, you're not officially allowed to fish there. There is no signs, so I guess you can plead ignorance, but if he moves you on, he moves you on. We'll um, go down here, have a few more casts, and then we'll go back there later once he's gone. stay for another half an hour, a few more casts, and hopefully get a few more. Okay. Okay, so this is the, the last spot of the day. Um, we've changed law to a little floating crankbait, and I've just lost the pike about five pounds. So we're gonna have a few more casts, but this is probably gonna be it for the session. And um, yeah, if we get another one, I'll be happy, but if not, we've had it's been a bit slow today, but quite productive. Had one about a pound, maybe 15, 20 fish in total. So it's not bad for a couple of hours. Okay, cool. We'll see you next time. And that was the one that hit it before yeah, yeah definitely it's about the same size it's not quite five pounds is it but there you go lovely way to end the session more. so they are in it we've had um perch about a pound today and about 15 smaller ones let's just pop the hook out like that. and then one there That's it. Quick photo, nice and plump. It's been feeding really well. A few, few leeches on it. But, um. Do right, it to your left a little bit. We'll get one from the other side. 
and then we'll get her back. And I think that's going to be it for the day. Lovely little pike. London Canal pike. Perfect condition. Hold it right out in front, yeah? And that's it, we're going to put it back. Let's get a little um, photo of her going back. Right, we come on the other side. Ready? Yeah, go for it. 